All right, you guys, here we check out how to create this slit scan effect here in After Effects. Step one, create a new composition. I'm going to rename it as slit scan. For the size, I'm going to go with 1080p 30 frames per second. And I'm going to go with somewhere around 6 seconds. Click OK. Let's go and create a background. Double click on the rectangle. And I'm going to select the shape layer. Press Ctrl D to duplicate. Right click on the first one. Pre comp. Type in subject one. Click OK. Select the second shape layer, pre-comp, this is going to be subject 2. Click OK. Now I'm going to go to the subject 1, double click on it. And here we're going to need two different images which are in similar positions. So for example, these models right here, you can see their heads are in the same position. Or I got the other ones, you can see the head is tilted backwards. And then we got another one, tilted head backwards. And I'm going to bring the first subject in. Now I can delete the shape layer. Let's select the subject, press the letter S and scale it down. All right, so after you arrange the subject, what we're gonna need to do is select this JPEG, press Control C. Let's go to the slit scan comp and we're gonna go to the subject to double click on it, press Control V. So this is going to copy paste it in the same exact position. Now I'm gonna go and drag and drop the second model on top of the first model and I'm gonna scale it down. I also gonna open up the layer and here we got the opacity, I'm gonna decrease it. And this way I'm going to try to rearrange it and here I can scale it up or down. And I'm going to try to position the head exactly at the same size and the same position where the other one is. So you can see it's going to look something like this. And make sure to bring up the opacity to 100% and I'm going to collapse it. Let's delete the other layers. And I'm going to go back to the slit scan comp. I'm going to bring it on the right. So now you can see we've got these two models. I'm going to uncheck the first model, let's select the second one and I'm going to select the pen behind tool here and let's go to the center of the image. As you can see we got here this anchor point. Press and hold control and drag it to the left and make sure to snap it on the left. Now we're going to press the letter S to scale. Make sure that you're at the beginning, activate the stopwatch. Let's bring it to the first second. Let's go and unlink it and decrease this to zero. So if you bring it back you can see it is going to stretch the image. Let's go and select both keyframes, a right click, go to keyframe assist and select easy ease. Now let's go and select the first subject, make it visible, press the letter S for scale. And I'm going to go to the second subject, select the scale, press Ctrl C. Let's go to the top subject, select the scale and press Ctrl V. Now let's go and select the pen behind and let's go to the first subject and here you can see the anchor point in the center and I'm going to drag the anchor point on the right side, press and hold control and snap it on the right. So what I'm going to do now is select these both keyframes at the first subject, right click on them, go to keyframe assist and select time reverse keyframes. So now if I hit play, you can see it reversed the keyframes. Now let's go and select both layers. Let's bring it to the second second and press Ctrl Shift plus D. So this is going to trim the layers, press on delete. Let's select both layers, press Ctrl D to duplicate and bring the subject one and two, the new layers on top of every each layer. And I'm going to bring them out, press and hold Shift, snap it, press the letter U so it's going to highlight the keyframes and we're going to need to arrange these so it's going to loop and I'm going to select all these four keyframes right click, go to keyframe assist, select time reverse keyframes. And now what I got to do here is select the first layer, select the pen behind tool and we're going to go and select the anchor point and drag it from the right to the left, press and hold control and snap it. So now I'm going to do the same thing with the subject number two, but as you can see, we don't have any anchor points. So I'm going to need to bring it to the third second. So here you can see the anchor point on the left side. So I can bring it, press and hold control, snap it and hit play. Perfect. I'm also going to go back to the composition, composition settings and I'm going to increase the duration to 8 seconds. Click OK, stretch it out. And I'm going to go to these four layers, press control D to duplicate and I'm going to bring them on the top of subject one so it's going to look something like this and bring it out, press and hold shift, snap it, select all of it, a right click, pre-comp, rename it subject comp, click OK. Now let's go to the comp, right click, new, select solid, rename it as gradient, click OK, go to the effects and presets, type in gradient ramp. Let's go and drag the gradient ramp on the gradient layer. I'm going to leave the gradient as it is, right click on the gradient layer and select pre-comp, rename it as gradient. 
and make sure to select move all attributes into the new composition click ok and bring the gradient under the subject comp and i also going to make it invisible let's go and select the subject comp go to effects and presets and search for time displacement drag it on the subject comp and here we're going to go to the time displacement layer change it to gradient let's go to the source change it to effects and masks and i'm going to go to the max displacement time i'm going to go with 2.3 and check this out it is looking something like this and this is it thanks for watching